Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We've been waiting for a while for a slow day. We don't root for slow days, but I've had this haul video for like five days waiting for a slow day to put that video out instead of what we're selling. So we finally got our slow day. We only sold six items for like just under a hundred bucks, like 90 bucks, something like that, 85, I can't even remember. So we're gonna do a quick one. And then at the end of the video, after the haul, we're gonna put those at the end. So hang around to the end of this video we're gonna let the haul run now and then you can see what's sold we did have one viewer sale which is exciting and sophie's excited to be back in the ebay cave get back on there get sit down right over there sit it there you go good girl she hadn't been one to be down here with me for a while so she's back in the cave i think it has something to do with the fact that i don't think any homeschool hustler is home and so she likes being down here when that happens so all right join us at the end all right, everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. I thought I'd throw in a haul video here, and this is a haul video of some items that we got last weekend and maybe one from the weekend before, not quite positive. And I stopped doing the entire haul videos because I would do like three of them. We get so much stuff. So what you're looking at here is a probably one quarter to one third of what we got last week. I just have to process them a lot faster than being able to do a haul video or I'm going to have massive death piles. So I just picked a few things that you saw in some yard sales and a few things that you haven't seen yet. So the first little batch here are some Hallmark ornaments and we paid, I think we paid five bucks for the lot and it was all but two of them, I think. And none of them are amazing, but I like to pick these little lots up because I can sell the ones that aren't amazing off in the booth pretty easy. Like Lou Gehrig probably get about eight bucks on eBay, seven, eight bucks on eBay. So to me, I'm just going to put it in the booth for three or four and be done with it. There's some baseball ones, Satchel Page, and there's an Olympic one. Not great value, Ooh, especially if I break it. This one here is Captain Kirk, I believe. So that's uh, what thrifty is me out there. If you're watching, you like that stuff, I think. Uh, you like your Star Trek, if I remember. And that one will sell. It's got a little eBay value. Probably resell that one on eBay. This Pez one will sell really good in the booth, or I'll sell it on eBay for a little bit more money. But these other ones, you know, that's definitely going to be probably a booth item. I I'm into them for less than a dollar a piece. So this one will make all our money back for all of them and put us in the profit. So that Space Shuttle one's probably good for 15 or so, maybe a little bit more. Uh, that one I don't think has any value. We'll put a few bucks on it, put it in the booth. And uh, I just like to pick them up. They, they're good sellers in the booth, and, and you pick out the two or three best and sell them on eBay. This is a wood stock. I, I buy these often. I've sold a few on eBay, and I've uh, put one in the booth, and this will be probably in the booth, although I haven't even looked at the brand on this one. Knickerbocker. Now, that's new for peanuts to me. I can almost guarantee you that will bring $10 on eBay, which isn't great, but to pay a quarter for it, to make five bucks. It may bring more, that's an interesting brand, so I'll have to look that one up. It may bring $15 for that wood stock. This is the one from the yard sale video not too long ago. Paid a couple bucks, which I like to pay a dollar for them, but I paid a couple bucks, and I may give it to my son. I may sell it. I think it'll probably bring around anywhere between $12, $15, and $14 on eBay, so we'll make a little $7 profit. This I bought at a yard sale for half off of the sticker, and the sticker was 10 cents. So I paid five cents for this, and it's a Fire King. We'll put it in the booth for a couple bucks and it'll sell. The Furbies you saw in a yard sale video, I think we paid five dollars a piece. I think this one will go for five dollars. One of the viewers out there let me know a little, little bit about it. I think this one will go for 30. I think 30 free shipping, maybe 30 plus shipping. I gotta check, but I'm pretty sure. You know, like 25 and shipping is probably what it'll go for. So we'll make about $18 profit. And this one should go for about the same. They're both 99. This one's obviously smaller and has a different bottom to it. But the value is about the same. See how that bottom's flat? And the bottom on most Furbies, they have that little thing. And that's how they run. You push it down like that. Now, I need to test them. So I haven't tested them. So 
Uh, hopefully they work. If they work, they should be a good little $20 profit a piece. Maybe just a few more dollars, $22 profit, something like that. So that's 44 from that sale. Pick this up, haven't even looked it up, but it's brand new in the box. So I can't imagine it not being worth $10, $15 plus shipping. That bar lamp that I thought was so neat that we ended up paying two bucks for, and it does work. I probably should have plugged it in for you. I think we'll probably put this one in the booth. I haven't bothered to look up comps. Probably put it in the booth and both lights work and we'll probably put, I think I've seen similar ones in booths for like 25 bucks, but they're still in booths. So we'll probably put 20 on it maybe and hopefully it sells and make 18 bucks. Some Tupperware we got real cheap. If you remember from that one video, there's some more nesting canisters inside. I think just one. So we'll put maybe $4. Eh, there's two of them. We'll probably put six bucks on that even though there's two. This I bought for a quarter at a yard sale, and it's missing one cup, I think. I look like it's missing, yeah, it looks like it's missing one right in between the top two, or the top three. And we've sold these before already in the booth, I think for like six bucks for the whole set. This has got one level. We'll put four dollars on that. We'll make, you know, three and a quarter, three fifty. This deluxe edition Scrabble, they're always good to pick up, but this one was great. Uh, it was four fifty. we paid four for it, and it's brand new. The box isn't, but everything inside is still sealed, so... This is, I haven't looked it up, but I've sold these in the past for around uh, upper 20s plus shipping minimums. So brand new, this one should probably bring at least $30 plus shipping, but probably a little bit more. Maybe $34.95 plus shipping is my guess. What do we have? We have the best buy of the day. And this, we brought $250 with this yard sale, and, and we didn't even spend it. We spent like $170, I think. Well, this item should be a $300 plus item right here. Uh, we spent 10 bucks on it. Brandon was at that yard sale with us. Um, he pulled up a little late. And uh, this was our, our best buy of the day. This Casio EXF1. And it is just immaculate. It's in great shape. A lot of the contents are still sealed. It should be really, really good. And I'm thinking we'll, we'll at least sell it. For, well, I think we'll put it out there for $350 your best offer. And hopefully sell it for that, but we'll take probably 300 on it. I haven't looked this one up since I looked it up at the at the sale. This Panasonic uh, PSB FM AM radio. I first I initially thought it was an eight track player because it kind of looked like an eight track player until I saw the top. It looks to be in okay shape. Needs a little cleaning. We'll have to test it out. But this should be 35 to 45 dollars plus shipping. A little De Marini bat back there that I forgot I put in there and got that one cheap. That should be a pretty good little sale. Probably around $20 plus shipping for that softball bat. Bought this for $0.50. Cents. Figured we'd put it in the booth for 3 or 4 bucks. Probably 3 Bought that for a dollar. My wife's got a little clip. I saw him the other day. That's why I bought it. A little chalkboard metal tin thing. And I think we'll put probably $4 on that. This was 50 cents, I think. These sell pretty good for us. We'll probably put a couple $3 on that. Thought we could hang some Halloween ornaments from this tree. It lights up, and that was a buck. These bobbleheads all came together for $5. Oh, no, I take it back. It was they wanted, He wanted $3 a piece, I, th I think, and we paid $2 a piece, I think is what the deal was. Or maybe we paid 10 for all of it. At any rate, we got them cheap. And this is going to go for $30 at least. This one should go for around 30. This one, there's no comps on it, but probably if I put it out there, somebody will snatch it up for 25. This one has virtually no value, maybe 9.95 plus shipping, maybe. This one here will probably go for around 20 plus shipping, maybe 25 plus shipping. It is a Salem Avalanche mascot. I don't know what the mascot is, y'all. Sorry. Snow globe, and I have a Hillcat one identical to it. Well, not identical, but same type. And then a beer stein from the Salem Red Sox. And I don't think there are any comps out there for that. But that lot right there should make us a good 80 bucks. So between this one, this one, and this one, we're going to quadruple our money for everything we bought. And keep in mind, this is about a quarter of what we bought. So really happy about that. This one might be a huge money maker for us. It is a wool coat, virgin wool, and it is German. I don't remember the name brand, but I looked it up, and there are some, some comps on there in Europe, but none in America, but there are a bunch in America that are listed for hundreds of dollars. 
150 $200. So we're going to put this one out there. It's in really good shape for probably around 100 bucks, and see if we can sell it. Here's those Chick-fil-A shirts if you saw that one. These should go for around 30 bucks a piece, 25 bucks a piece maybe. We paid a quarter a piece for them. And then two pairs of Chick-fil-A pants as well. We might lot them up together. I'm not sure. I'll probably lot these two up together for like 40 bucks, 45 bucks, something like that, and get them sold. So that's a good little money maker for us. A couple of super books we got. They're not great value. I almost bought them just kind of because I've seen Lonnie buy them. I've sold them before, but it's been a long time. Haven't looked these particular ones up, but they usually go for around eight to twelve dollars a piece. My guess is probably closer to eight or nine is my guess on these. Might lot them up for like fourteen. But we paid two bucks for a whole box of stuff, and so that'll make us profit, and we'll sell the rest off in the booth. And there was a Garmin in there, too. So this had $5 on it, brand new, and it is still in the package. Might keep it, because I kind of like it. But these should go. I've sold these before. They're brand new here. So they should go for, I would think, $29.95 plus shipping. I hate shoes. I know, I know. Everybody yells at me for hating shoes. I just hate shoes. Sorry. Got to clean these up just a little bit. But the Nike shocks I've sold pretty good. Shoes are saturated and they're so long tail. Drives me crazy. But uh, I think these will probably go. I paid five bucks a piece. These probably have the most value. There's no sold comps used out there. There are a bunch of new ones out there that are listed for like $100, $90. They're in pretty darn good shape. So I'll need to clean them up and sell them. And they, I'll probably put them out there for like 30 bucks plus shipping. And I think they'll get bought up. These over here I'll probably put out for a closer to 20 plus shipping. When you see these shocks right here, they have a little bit of value. Just check the condition. See, these need a little, little bit of cleaning, and there's definitely wear on that back, back tab. So these probably will be $15, maybe even less than that because of the wear on that one. So the black one's not quite as bad, although it's not perfect. So I'm thinking 15 maybe 20 if I had it to do all over again, I probably would have just bought these. I'll make 10 bucks on those, eight, nine, 10 bucks, but they'll sit around for two months and I'll get mad that I bought them. My favorite buy was my $1 vending machine and it vends the little snacks, like the little thing, you know, the little, you know how little those loops are. It'll vend the little candy bars that you get, like the snack size ones and like sticks of bubble gum. And then you put the little gu bubble gum pouches in there. And it's only a quarter, so you're going to have to get these things cheap to make any money. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm probably going to flip the machine. I paid a buck for it, and there was a quarter when I opened it. Here's the key. When I opened it, there was a quarter down here. So I ended up paying 75 cents for the thing. I think we could scrap it for more than that. And I think I'll flip it. I don't know. I might somewhere, I might find some, somewhere, to, something to do with it and try to make some money off of it. The lady who sold it was really nice. She's like, hey, you know what we do? After Halloween's coming up, buy all those mini candy bars and like 75% off and you'll have your stock for dirt cheap, you know, five cents a bar, and you'll make and you'll make some money. And the only problem is I don't know where I'd make the money. BK vending and flipping, you want this thing out there? I can't take it to I can't take it to Arizona for you though. So I'm gonna have to paint it up, obviously, because that looks terrible. Hugs, not drugs, which is wonderful, but it needs painted. And my second favorite buy, I paid seven dollars for this. And I don't even really know what it's supposed to be used for, but I can tell you what I'm gonna use it for. I'm gonna use it for record display in our new booth. We're gonna have a third booth, and I'm gonna try after Christmas to put a lot of media in it. And the media is gonna be records and cassettes and VHS and eight tracks and DVDs and CDs. And that's what I'm gonna use it for, but it's just a really neat little display and it is really tall. I think it's kind of cool. Might even put a tag on it for like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, and see if somebody buys it. But to be able to display records, you know, probably a hundred records in this thing where they're somewhat visible and people can just pull it and slide it out and take a look at it, I think it might help us sell some things. Plus, we could put a little sign up here, maybe Commonwealth Picker if I can get my wife to make a sign to put in there. Or we could just put price tag on it. We just say, hey, records anywhere between 50 cents and eight dollars or something like that who knows 
any rate, thank you so much for joining us, and we're going to add this onto another video more than likely, and we appreciate all your support. Let me know if you know anything about these items that I don't know, and we'll see you next time. All right, we sold a few board game pieces. I've already got them ready to go. I do have one set of board game pieces that I'm going to show you, some backgammon pieces that sold. But first, the first sale is a book sale, and it is a Bible. Paid 50 cents for this particular one. Sold for $7.81 plus shipping. It is a Berkeley style Bible. It's not in the greatest condition, but it's not bad. And it says the Berkeley version in modern English, Zondervan. Nothing amazing, but it sold for $7.81 and we paid 50 cents. So we're going to make $5 profit on this one. The next item that sold, and this sold to a viewer. So this is what I'm going to ship the viewer. Her name is Tammy. I guess I could do a, a part time picker and say a YouTube friend out there. So this is going to go to Tammy. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to ship it in this because it's new. I thought I had five left, but I just started digging through the bag where they're at. And I think there's ten left. So uh, they're selling for some reason like crazy lately. I've sold four or five of them. And I haven't sold I literally hadn't sold one in a year and a half. And I've sold five. So usually when that happens, I think it has something to do with the eBay algorithm. If something's selling, it's just pushed out there. I'm not sure. But I will say that sometimes when I start to see that is there's somebody who has a cheaper listing than me that has sold out and I become the next listing down. So if we get back on that perch right there. Come on, get here and you stay there. You stay there. Stay, sit. So we're going to send this out to Tammy. Tammy, we really appreciate it. And it was a $9 buy. And uh, hopefully you like the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. This one's new too, but we're going to send you the one out in the package. And we appreciate you. But you see me sell these often. This is just the backgammon rule book. Two little plain Jane, little faux leather cups. And the dice that go with a backgammon game. And these oftentimes will sell more than the whole game because of shipping. So this is going to be a four, maybe an eight ounce shipment. So it's roughly three bucks to ship this. It sold for $12.81. I probably bought the game no more than a dot, no more than a buck. But I've also sold the gap. I guess I should have made sure that the bag was sealed. Sold the pieces already to this game and made about nine dollars profit. So we're already in the profit on this. This sold for twelve eighty one. So minus fees, minus shipping, we're looking at about another seven to eight dollars profit. So you're gonna make I'm gonna make fifteen dollars on a backgammon board game. Now you can't just sell any one. You got to kind of take a look, and you got to be crazy enough to do two listings on a backgammon game and be willing to wait. But I sell these often. People often people make their own backgammon boards. And they like to, and sometimes make their own chips. And they like to create little sets of homemade stuff and give them out as gifts. So I'm happy to sell it to them. This is a Liberty University woman's Nike shirt. I think a size large, maybe. It was a dollar buy, and it sold for twelve dollars. I think so for twelve dollars. It'll be a four ouncer. I think it's really, really light and thin. It may be an eight ouncer. And so we'll make about six dollars profit on this one. Seven, maybe eh, about six fifty. All right. So if you can believe it, one of my most profitable buys two summers ago were these pins. These God bless America pins, and they're a cross and an American flag. I bought an entire box full of them. I think for five bucks. It might have been less than that, but I bought an entire box for five bucks. I was with my oldest son, and he had bought a few toys that he was bragging about that he was going to make money on. And I said, I bet I make more money on this little box. And he's like, there's no way. So we paid five bucks for this whole box, and there were hundreds and hundreds of these. And we've sold bunches. I haven't sold one in a while, but we've sold a bunch of these. These six sold for, Sophie girl, sit. These six sold for 20 bucks. So it'll be really, really light, four ounce to ship. And we are well into the profit on these. I sell them as singles. I sell them as doubles. I sell them as threes and sixes. So on a sale like this, we're going to end up making $15 profit on an item like this. I would estimate, and I can't remember exactly how many were in here, but I would estimate we've already made $250 on this box and we'll probably make another $100 or $150 with as many as we have left. So don't underestimate little things like this. 
multiples are awesome and I love them. I don't care how little amount of money they'll make. If I can sell hundreds of them, I'll usually do it. All right, so just one more thanks and a shout out to Tammy. We really appreciate your purchase and we really appreciate everybody with all the kind words in the comments, all the thumbs up. It's kind of been overwhelming, all the support we've got just having started just a few months ago now. I don't think we're even in four months at this point. So thank you so much and send me your comments, send me your questions. We'll do what we can to answer every single one. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.